Hello, this is Logan DeLay from Scientific Learning. In this presentation, I will be describing research findings that help to explain why so many students fall behind in reading and academic achievement, as well as describing ways to help them catch up. Becoming an expert reader depends upon having extensive reading experience. Researchers often refer to an individual's cumulative reading experience as their level of print exposure. They've found that print exposure is linked to educational achievement, that it depends on reading fluency, and that it varies widely among both children and adults. Reading a lot will certainly make you a better reader, but does it have any other cognitive consequences? Cunningham and Stanovich conducted a series of studies to answer this question. Their studies consistently showed that sheer volume of reading is a powerful predictor of verbal skills and world knowledge. In addition, they concluded that reading yields significant dividends for everyone, not just for the smart kids or the more able readers. In another study, Cunningham and Stanovich collected data from a group of students over a 10-year period to examine the relationship between early skills and 11th grade print exposure. Across a range of first grade measures, the most important predictor they found was the student's reading fluency, as measured by tests of decoding, word recognition, and comprehension. It's worth noting that they found an even stronger connection between third and fifth grade reading fluency and eleventh grade print exposure. This suggests that students who don't get off to a quick start can overcome that setback as long as they eventually become fluent readers. Just how much does children's exposure to print vary? This table shows data collected by Anderson, Wilson, and Fielding, who investigated how much time fifth graders spent reading books outside of school. They found quite a range. Children at the 10th percentile averaged only one-tenth of a minute per day, while children at the 90th percentile averaged more than 20 minutes per day, 200 times as much. And the students who read more made greater gains in reading comprehension. This graph will illustrate how the differences in book reading time found by Anderson and his colleagues translate into differences in print exposure. The red bars show the number of words the students read over the course of a year. Clearly there was a big gap. Students in the bottom 30% read around 100,000 words or less while students in the top 30% read more than half a million words. Students who don't choose to read independently are usually non-fluent readers, and they may benefit from interventions that improve fluency and increase print exposure. As daunting as this gap looks, adding just 10 minutes of book reading time each day could substantially reduce it. The blue bars show the potential effect of an extra 10 minutes of daily book reading for students in the lower half of the distribution. This increased exposure would move a student from the 30th percentile to somewhere above the 70th percentile in words read per year. Teachers can't control how their students spend their time outside of school. However, by providing well-structured guided oral reading practice, they can help their students gain fluency and increase print exposure during the school day. Scientific learning reading assistance software is a tool that helps teachers provide this kind of research-based reading intervention. Reading Assistant is designed to help students across a wide range of ages and ability levels to become more fluent readers. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer service team.